In this Photoshop speed art, I'm going to show you how I turned this Blender project into this humble concept art scene. Before we start the speed art, let me give you an idea of how I blend characters in my concept works. Here I have the scene on Photoshop and here I have this model right here. To cut this model, I'm going to crop the image to show just the man that's walking on the sand. To select the model, I'm going to use select subject and that will do a automatic selection for the model but it's not going to be perfect so what i'm going to do is selecting the lasso tool and add some areas on the area that was not selected by the ai technique the next step is adding a mask and i'm going to add empty layer and fill it with 50 percent gray to see the selection if it's perfect or not and i'm going to click select shift and select and mask i'm going to add radius contrast and some feather and click ok apply the mask next step is i'm going to turn this blue dress to a red dress to match the scene using hue at saturation of course and I'm going to increase the range of the color. This one looks perfect. Actually, I'm going to add another one. Select colorize and it's going to be all red color. And manually, I'm going to paint on the model dress. After painting the red color, I'm going to use the blend if method to hide the red color from some areas just for some realism and I'm going to decrease the opacity just a bit and then I'm going to merge the uh, hue and saturation layers with the model layer and then I'm going to convert it to a smart object and I'm going to drag it to my scene right there i'm going to select the model and i'm going to add a mask just to get rid of the uh, white lines that's coming outside the model and that's by going to filter blur adding a blur and then click ctrl l to bring the levels menu and drag the uh, black stroke to the right side i'm going to restore the layer and apply the mask Convert it to a smart object again and find a place for it. And for that, I used the rule of third to place the model just right there. Now it's time to blend the model with the rest of the image. And for that, I'm going to use first hue and saturation adjustment layer at the top so I can see all the image in black and white. After that, I'm going to add a exposure layer. I'm going to match the values of the model with the rest of the picture or the image. I think that's good. The second step is I'm going to add an empty layer and I'm going to sample a color from the mountain or these blue areas. That is the color of the shadows. I'm going to decrease the opacity to 30% and change the blending mode to color. I'm going to duplicate the model layer by clicking and holding Alt and drag it to the top. Clip it to the original layer and rasterize the layer. Change the blending mode to either screen, color dodge or linear dodge. And then using the gradient transparent uh, black color Make sure the mode is on linear light and the opacity is 100% and just drag it like that. Make sure the opacity is on 50%. Click Ctrl U, that will bring the hue and saturation and decrease the saturation. Click Ctrl B, that will bring the color balance adjustment layer menu. Add the color of the a uh, light which is the warm color right here in my scene
After finishing that, I'm going to select the layer of the model, add an empty layer just beneath it and fill it with 50% gray. And then using the transform, uh, free transform tool, I fix the position of the shadows. It doesn't have to be perfect on our painting. And change the blender mode to multiply. Then click Control L, that will bring the levels menu. Add some paint to your shadow. And to add the color, go to red. And we are going to add the cyan, which is the opposite, the opposite color of red. And then add in blue, you will see that the colors are already matching. But the shadow of the model is having a hard edges. And to fix that, go to filter. While while are you clicking on the uh, shadow of the model, go to filter, blur gallery and field blur add a point just here put the value of zero pixels then add one here and give it a value of like three pixels or two it's looking fine you can go further and add blend if if you like to that will bring some textures to the shadows you can click on the model two times and add inner glow click on reset to default change this color to the color uh, on the uh, that's behind the model just like that screen make sure the blend mode is green and then right click on that fx menu and click on create layer click ok that will give us this new layer put it at the top add a mask to it and turn it to black by clicking on ctrl i then with the brush and the white color start painting that color again and that will help the model blend even more to the scene and make sure the opacity is on 60 percent the next step is add an empty layer and click on shift ctrl alt e that will merge all the layers together by the way i already did these steps i'm just uh, sharing the techniques with you choose the mixer brush tool and i have like random brushes that i got from deviant art and this is an advice for me get as much brushes that you can because you will never know which brush is going to be the perfect fit for your um, for the result that you want to achieve like for me while i was making the work i was going through all the brushes till i find this one which is well, which helped me like turn all this scene from looking 3D into like giving it some painting look on some areas. And that's what I'm going to do to the model right here. I'm going to add a new layer and make sure the sample all layers are checked. And I'm going to paint, not paint, but just clicking and dragging till I give this model right here the painting look. If you are getting a value from this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. and merge this layer that you added the painting with with the full image then shows the brush make sure it's on hardness 50 percent and to change that click and hold alt and move the mouse up and down make sure the hardness is on 50 percent and flow is on 10 choose a bright color and on the color menu make sure to make it warm and more bright and then paint on the areas that you feel like the light could uh, reach and affect. And I'm changing the uh, size of the uh, the brush by clicking and holding Alt and moving the mouse right and left. Then select the mixer brush tool and start turning this color that you paint 
to a painting log. Using this match tool, you can start clicking on the edges of the model just to get rid of the uh, painting effects that's getting outside the model, just like that in his hat right here. Or you can just click and choose the clone stamp tool and sample from the background, then paint on these areas. After finishing this step, you can add camera raw filter, fix the texture, the clarity, saturations, more light, contrast, etc. All of this stuff. Then click OK. Convert the layer to smart object and add sharpen, smart sharpen, and make sure the amount is over uh, 200. That will give us more uh, paint and lock as you can see and then add an empty layer fill it with black make sure this is black and the background color is white go and add noise the amount is 400 go to filter blur add blur change the opacity to 2% or 3% and change the blender mode to screen maybe let's try 3 and when you zoom in and after that just adding some noise to the uh, scene right here maybe let's use less smart sharpen like 250 and just like that this is how I um, mixed this is how I added this model to the scene this is the first result that I got while I was working on the first time and this is the result that I got while I'm doing the tutorial. You see, maybe the first result is better because I took my time with it. But for this one, uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I was going uh, so fast. And by the way, I used the same technique for this ground and this sand right here, as you can see, and some of the textures that I add to the walls of that uh, castle. I hope you enjoyed this video. And without any further ado, here's the speed art. This is the end of this video. If you liked this video, I'm sure you will like my night cam speed art video, so check that out. If you want to see full length works and tutorials, you can buy my course The Digital Landscape Reloaded. You will find the links in the description. Follow us on our social medias, subscribe to the channel, and peace.